Hello everybody, it's Niklas and welcome to this new video on Creo Element Direct Modeling Express. This is the uh, free version of Creo Element, so it means this is the OB version, the maker version to be able to work for free with Creo. This is Creo Element Direct Modeling Express. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create sweeps use the sweeps feature so it means you can create a sketch you can create a pass and then you can create a, a models from these uh, elements if you like my video subscribe to these channels you can also let likes on the video first link on the description the complete course is available so i'm online teachers also if you want to really uh, master Creo Element Direct Modeling Express. It's on the first link on the description. You will see uh, the models and the session of the course. You will see the structure, what you will be able to learn in uh, this course. The aim is really to be able to master the CID software and create your 3D models. So let's start to do this. First things to do, you can find here the sweep feature, sweep, add, sweep, remove. And I'm going to create a sketch directly. To, it will be my base with view by current work plane. And let's search the center. To search the center, you can create a construction line vertical. And you can tap 50 because if you want to position your line in the middle, you need to tap 50. And let's create a horizontal line just here. And I can tap 50, press enter, and I created another line. Now this is my center. And I'm just going to create a circle in the center, just here, with a value of 20 millimeter, and just validate, just here. So now, if I want to create a sweep, I need to create a pass. Uh, let's create a pass. I need first to work on a different work plane. Create work plane new and select world origin work plane world origin work plane and thanks to that i can create a rotation 90 degrees like this and i need to create an offset with this arrow tools of and change the position with uh, exactly 50. i need to tap exactly 50 to have exactly the right position at the intersection here and validate so now let's use the view by current work plane. Automatically, this work plane number two is active. And I can find my sketch here. If I use my line tool, I can create a pass. I can, for example, click here. Um, I can start at 50. And let's create something like this. I can use my current view again. And I can create a first element with 300 millimeter just like that. And the thing that I'm going to do now is to create a circle just here, starting from this center point. And I can create a circle with a value of uh, like 80, just like this. Create another line starting from this one to this one. And I can use one of these tools. And this is a trim tools delete. And I can delete this part, for example, delete this part, delete this part, delete this part. And now the thing that I'm going to do is to use the fillet tools, click on this line, click on this line, and I can extrude with a value of 40 millimeter. Perfect. So now uh, I have this element. I can use the sweep features to create little like a hook, something like this. And you need to apply first uh, the first work plane as active work plane. So right click here and set active. I can use more, sweep add. And thanks to that, I need first to what I'm going to select. I'm going to click here. And here you can just remove this one. The part will be the part number one. The work plane will be the work plane number one. So it means this one. And you need to select the spine. And just click here. Click here. Click here. And now if I just validate, I can create something like this. 
as you can see. So this is why it is useful. I'm going to show you again. You need to have the first work plane active. You click on more, select sweep, and so the base will be my work plane one with the circle, and you need to select spine, click here, select the first line, this curve, these curves, and just uh, validate, just here. Extremely useful. Uh, so now let's create another example. I'm just going to use my history panels and uh, just come back at the moment where I had uh, only this work plane, these two work plane. I can select the work plane number one, right click and set active. And now I can work on the work plane one. Click here, view by current work plane. So I have this circle, let's click on the circle, just press delete, like that. I'm going to create now a rectangle. Create a rectangle, defined from central, and create a print. Let's create a rectangle with two value. I can zoom a little bit, like six by 100. I can press tabulation, six, and tabulation again, 100, just like that. I created this element. Now I would like on the other axis, so I have still my work plane number two, right click, set active. And I can click on view by current work plane. Now I need to start from this center point. If never you don't find the center, you have the possibility to use projection and select general projection, just click here. Uh, I think it's not working properly, project, um, to the edge and why it's not working properly here uh, let's click on project face uh, I have something little strange here uh, I'm on my work plane number two just here and if I apply projection face um, here it's not working properly I don't know why it's a little strange. Sometimes you can have some little trouble on this area. Projection to the edge. And yes, now it's work. Now it's work. It's strange. It was not working. I'm going to click on this one and just validate. Yes, perfect. And let's just come back on the view by current work plane. So now if I click here, I can select my arc tools, sweep point arc. I can now snap to the point and I would like to create something with the arc, like maybe something like this, left click, and I can create a little arc on this direction, just like that. And the aim is to follow this sketch to this arc, just validate. The thing that I'm going to do now is to use my sweep feature. So click on more here. This is the 3D modeling tools. Sweep add. And the work plane here, this is a work plane two selected. It's not really good. You need to select work plane, work plane one. And spine, you need to select this line. And something not really good is in some tools, you don't have directly the um, the real render. So I don't have directly what will be the result. So I just need to click and validate and I can obtain this curve element, this curve part. So this is why it is useful to use this type of feature, just like that. And if I want, I can just hide this work plane and hide this work plane. So we are going to stop here. It was a sweep feature, how you can use. If you like this video, subscribe to these YouTube channels continue to follow me, a lot of content about 3D modeling, a lot of content about graphic design. I'm online teacher also, first link on the description, Queer Element Direct Modeling Express, the complete course is available. So if you need to learn this uh, maker version of Creo, this OB version of Creo, you want to have a lot of training, you want to master the different tools, Everything will be perfect for you in the first link on the description, my complete course. And for our next video on this channel, see you. Ciao, ciao.